Welcome to the Tesla Daily News. This podcast is created by Generative AI. Today is May 22nd, 2024, and we have a lot to cover in the world of Tesla and autonomous driving technology. Links to all stories can be found in the episode notes. First up, let's dive into the ongoing race between Waymo and Tesla in the self-driving technology arena. Tesla has recently rolled out updates to its full self-driving FSD software and is planning to unveil a robo-taxi. However, a recent test drive revealed that Tesla's FSD still requires human intervention, while Waymo's driverless vehicles performed flawlessly during a two-hour ride. Waymo's technology, although impressive, sometimes relies on remote operators for guidance and avoids freeways. In contrast, Tesla's FSD can operate on all road types, but has not yet started driverless testing due to safety concerns. Waymo has gradually increased the difficulty of its driverless service, starting in 2020 in Phoenix suburbs, while Tesla may face similar challenges when transitioning to driverless technology. Despite Tesla's geographic flexibility, Waymo's incremental approach prioritizes safety. The excitement around Tesla's FSD is reminiscent of the hype surrounding Waymo in 2018, when Waymo faced challenges before launching a fully driverless taxi service in 2020. Waymo has since expanded its commercial service to San Francisco, Los Angeles, and Austin, but with fewer vehicles than initially planned. Challenges faced by Waymo in 2018 included difficulties with left turns and merging into heavy traffic. Despite these challenges, Waymo's incremental approach to self-driving technology has positioned them ahead of Tesla in the race for autonomous vehicles. In other news, a Tesla driver named Craig Doty Sick narrowly avoided a collision with an oncoming train while his vehicle was in full self-driving, FSD mode in Ohio. Dashcam footage captured the Tesla rapidly approaching the train without decelerating, prompting Doty to swerve and brake just meters from the train. Doty reported that this incident was not the first time his Tesla had steered towards an oncoming train while in FSD mode within the past six months. Tesla faces legal challenges over its autopilot and FSD capabilities, with owners claiming malfunctions leading to crashes and fatalities. Tesla acknowledges that low light conditions, adverse weather, and other factors can impact the performance of its sensor suite, advising caution when using FSD. The company emphasizes that autopilot and FSD features require active driver supervision and do not make the vehicle autonomous. Despite the close call, Doty admitted to continuing to use FSD, highlighting a sense of trust in the system's performance. This incident raises concerns about driver complacency and the need for drivers to remain alert while using advanced driver assistance systems like FSD. Switching gears, Tesla has decided to put its upcoming $25,000 electric car, codenamed NV9, on the back burner, despite previous statements made by Elon Musk. The project was part of Tesla's next-generation vehicle platform, aimed at producing cheaper electric vehicles. While Musk denied reports of the cancellation of the project, sources have confirmed that it has been postponed and defunded, with many employees laid off. Instead, Tesla is focusing on its self-driving efforts, particularly the development of a robo-taxi. Musk has redirected resources towards expanding Gigafactory Texas for the robo-taxi project causing delays in the cheaper model's development. Despite Musk's denial, it is evident that Tesla is prioritizing the robotaxi over the more affordable electric car. This decision has raised questions about Musk's truthfulness and transparency in handling such matters. Tesla enthusiasts believe that a budget EV from Tesla would have been a more promising venture compared to the focus on self-driving technology and high-end vehicles. Now, Let's talk about the ongoing controversy surrounding Elon Musk's pay package. The Tesla shareholder group is opposing Elon Musk's $46 billion pay package, citing dysfunction within the Tesla board and its close ties to Musk. The group is urging shareholders to vote against Musk's pay package and the re-election of board members Kimball Musk and James Murdoch. A court ruling in January 2024 nullified Musk's previous pay package, deeming it unfair to Tesla shareholders. Despite this, Musk and the board are seeking approval to reinstate the pay package and transfer Tesla's state of incorporation from Delaware to Texas. The shareholder group highlights Tesla's underperformance compared to competitors and the broader market, 
attributing it to Musk's various distractions and controversies. They also criticize Musk for using Tesla resources for his other business endeavors and poaching engineers for his new company, XAI. The group accuses the Tesla board of allowing Musk to be overcommitted to his multiple roles in different companies. Adding to the controversy, New York City's comptroller and seven financial firms are urging Tesla shareholders to reject CEO Elon Musk's $50 billion pay package. The recommendation was made in a letter submitted to the SEC on behalf of various pension and retirement funds. The pay package, approved in 2018, was deemed illegal by a Delaware court in February due to Musk's close ties with the Tesla board. A fresh vote on the package is scheduled for June 13th. The letter criticizes the questionable process surrounding the vote restart and the deep ties between the special committee members and Musk. It also calls for reforming the Tesla board, suggesting shareholders vote against re-electing Kimball Musk and James Murdoch due to their close relationships with Elon Musk. The letter alleges that the board is overly beholden to Musk and has not provided adequate oversight. In another incident, a fire broke out at the Tesla factory in Fremont, California, described as a two-alarm commercial fire that started inside an oven. The blaze caused exterior damage to the factory, and smoke was visible for miles. Firefighters extinguished the flames within a couple of hours, with no reported injuries. The cause of the fire is still under investigation, and it is uncertain if production will resume immediately. This incident marks the second recent fire-related disruption for Tesla, following an alleged arson attack at the Berlin Gigafactory. The Fremont factory, Tesla's oldest, has a history of controversies including allegations of racial discrimination and violations of clean air laws. The factory has received numerous violation notices for illegal air pollution emissions. The Fremont Fire Department is still investigating the nature of the fire, with no new information available at the moment. In lighter news, Tesla has made their full self-driving beta feature available for a free month trial to all Tesla owners. The feature allows the car to drive itself, but it behaves like a cautious, inexperienced teenager. The author experienced situations where the self-driving feature struggled to make decisions and had to take manual control. Despite the impressive technology, it is not yet advanced enough to replace a human driver. One major limitation is that current Teslas do not have a way to clean their own cameras, which is essential for the self-driving software to function properly. While the software may improve over time, the lack of camera cleaning capabilities poses a significant challenge. Other luxury car makers already have camera wipers, but current Teslas do not. This technical limitation raises questions about the accuracy of calling the feature full self-driving, and could be seen as false advertising. On the security front, for over a decade, car thieves have been using a technique called a relay attack to steal vehicles easily. Despite the introduction of ultra-wideband communications in keyless entry systems, including in the latest Tesla Model 3, researchers from a Chinese cybersecurity firm demonstrated that these cars are still vulnerable to relay attacks. The researchers were able to unlock and start a Tesla Model 3 using inexpensive radio equipment, bypassing the car's security features. The relay attack involves tricking the car into thinking the owner's key fob or smartphone is nearby, allowing the thieves to unlock and start the vehicle. While ultra-wideband technology was expected to prevent such attacks, the Tesla Model 3 was found to be susceptible to relay attacks from a distance of up to 15 feet. Tesla has acknowledged the vulnerability and stated that they are working on improving the reliability of ultra-wideband technology to prevent theft. Other car makers using ultra-wideband communications in their key systems were also found to be vulnerable to relay attacks. Despite Tesla's ability to push over-the-air updates to fix the issue, owners are advised to enable additional security features like the pin-to-drive protection. The researchers emphasize the importance of addressing this security flaw before releasing a secure version to the public. Until then, Tesla owners are encouraged to take precautions to prevent their vehicles from being stolen using relay attacks. Lastly, Let's talk about some exciting advancements in humanoid robots. The article discusses eight exciting humanoid robots that are pushing the boundaries of technology 
and bringing us closer to having robot assistants in our homes. Boston Dynamics has upgraded its Atlas robot, giving it improved movement capabilities for various applications, starting with Hyundai's manufacturing plants. Tesla has introduced the Optimus robot, which showcases impressive dexterity in tasks like sorting battery cells and could potentially handle household chores in the future. Figure 01, powered by OpenAI's ChatGPT model, can engage in conversations with humans and perform tasks like making coffee, with plans to be used in BMW's manufacturing plant. Unitree's G1 robot stands out with its mobility, speed, and affordability at $16,000, offering features like soldering wires and making breakfast. Agility Robotics Digit, initially partnered with Ford, is now being utilized by Amazon in warehouses for tasks like carrying up to 35 pounds and reaching items at heights. Sanctuary AI's Phoenix robot has advanced motion capabilities and quick learning abilities already deployed with Canadian Tire Corporation for various tasks. Aptronic's Apollo robot features a friendly design with digital panels for communication and user-friendly hardware set to be used in Mercedes-Benz's manufacturing plants. Ubtech's Walker S robot, powered by Baidu's Ernie AI, can interact with humans in real time, offering assistance in tasks like folding clothes and providing fashion advice, already in use at Neo's EV production lines. These humanoid robots represent significant advancements in robotics technology, bringing us closer to the possibility of having robot assistants that can simplify our daily tasks and improve efficiency in various industries. That's all for today's episode of the Tesla Daily News. We hope you found these updates on Tesla and the world of autonomous driving technology informative and engaging. Don't forget to check the episode notes for links to all the stories we covered. Join us again tomorrow for more news and insights. Stay safe and keep innovating.